Mushroom Gnome video tutorial today, we are going to crochet a mushroom gnome, and I'll show you the detailed method below. First, let's crochet the hat using green yarn and a 2-0 crochet hook. We'll start by working into a magic ring. Now, I'll demonstrate how to crochet into a magic ring. Hold the end of the yarn, wrap it around your little finger, then wrap it around your index finger once, wrap it around your middle finger once as well. Then, hold it down with your thumb, insert the hook into the first loop, pull the yarn through, wrap the yarn again, and pull through the loop on the hook. For the first round, crochet 6 single crochet stitches. Insert the hook close to your finger, pull the yarn through, wrap the yarn again, and pull through both loops at once. Our first single crochet stitch is done. Place a stitch marker in the first stitch, and I won't elaborate further since you'll mark the first stitch of every round with a stitch marker. Let's continue with the second stitch. Finish crocheting six single crochet stitches. Remove the loop from your finger, tighten the short end of the yarn to shape it into a circle. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marker's position. Pay attention, insert the hook into the loop, wrap the yarn and pull through all loops on the hook at once. Our slip stitch is complete, and the first round is done. Then we crochet the second round. Rounds 2 and 3 both consist of 6 single crochet stitches. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet 2 single crochet stitches. and you can complete the rest on your own here. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marker's position. This concludes the second round, and please complete the third round on your own here. Next, we will crochet the fourth round here. We crochet a single crochet stitch, followed by a single crochet increase stitch as one set, for a total of three sets. An increase stitch means crocheting two single crochet stitches into the same stitch, making it a total of nine stitches for this round. Watch me as I demonstrate. First crochet a chain stitch, then one single crochet stitch, followed by a single crochet increase stitch. I'll now show you the second set, and you will complete the remaining set on your own. After crocheting, we remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, and with that, our fourth round is completed.
Now we crochet the fifth round. Uh, rounds five and six consist of crocheting nine single crochet stitches each. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet two single crochet stitches. and complete the rest on your own here. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marker's position, and the fifth round is completed. Please complete the sixth round on your own here. Moving on to the seventh round, we crochet one single crochet stitch one single crochet increase stitch and then another single crochet stitch as one set for a total of three sets making 12 stitches in total watch me as i demonstrate first crochet a chain stitch then a single crochet stitch followed by a single crochet increase stitch. And another single crochet stitch to complete the first set. I'll show the second set, and you can finish the last set on your own here. After crocheting, we remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, and with that, our seventh round is completed. Next, we crochet the eighth round. Rounds eight and nine each consist of crocheting 12 single crochet stitches. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet two single crochet stitches. and you can complete the rest on your own here. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marker's position, and the eighth round is completed. Please complete the ninth round on your own here. Now we crochet the tenth round. We crochet three single crochet stitches followed by a single crochet increase stitch as one set, for a total of three sets, which makes 15 stitches altogether. Watch me as I demonstrate. First crochet a chain stitch, then crochet three single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch.
I'll show you the second set, and you will complete the remaining set on your own. After crocheting, we remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, and with that, our 10th round is completed. Then we crochet the 11th round. Rounds 11 and 12 consist of crocheting 15 single crochet stitches each. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet 2 single crochet stitches. and complete the rest on your own here. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marker's position, and the 11th round is completed here. Please complete the 12th round on your own here. Moving on to the 13th round, we crochet two single crochet stitches, a single crochet increase stitch, and then two more single crochet stitches as one set for a total of three sets, making 18 stitches in total. Watch me as I demonstrate. First crochet a chain stitch, then crochet two single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch. And then two more single crochet stitches. I'll show the second set, and you can finish the last set on your own. After crocheting, we remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, and with that, our 13th round is completed.